Good morning and welcome to Good Shepherd Lutheran Church in Peterborough, New Hampshire. I'm Pastor David Mueller and we welcome you as we celebrate the, uh, I've forgotten, fifth Sunday, sixth Sunday after, sixth Sunday after Pentecost and also uh, celebrating our nation's uh, birthday, 4th of July today. Uh, we uh, pray God's blessing on our worship together. Our opening hymn this morning is 839 in Lutheran Service Book, and we join in the singing. page 151 in Lutheran Service Book, 151. If you're using the printed sheets, uh, I, I did not get all of the uh, adaptations into this one for some reason, and uh, so you will see some oddities like in place of the sign of the cross is a large T, a capital T. I didn't get the, uh, the congregational responses boldened on the intro it and there'll be a few things like that so uh, a few things I forgot to take out a few things that I forgot to add uh, so it goes in the name of the Father and of the Son and of the Holy Spirit Amen. Amen. if we say we have no sin we deceive ourselves and the truth is not in us but, but if we confess our, our sins God who is faithful and just, just will forgive our sins and cleanse us from all unrighteousness. Let us then confess our sins to God our Father. Most merciful God, we confess that we are by nature sinful and unclean. We have sinned against you in thought, word, and deed by what we have done and by what we have left undone. We have not loved you with our whole heart. We have not loved our neighbors as ourselves. We justly deserve your presence and eternal punishment. For the sake of your Son, Jesus Christ, have mercy on us. Forgive us, renew us, and lead us, so that we may delight in your will 
and walk in your ways to the glory of your holy name. Amen. Almighty God in his mercy has given his son to die for you and for his sake forgives you all your sins. As a called and ordained servant of Christ and by his authority, I therefore forgive you all your sins in the name of the Father and of the Son and of the Holy Spirit. Amen. Amen. <clears throat> the intro for this day is portion of Psalm 132 and the antiphon at the beginning and end from Psalm 34. Congregation, please uh, speak the indented lines and all in bold. O taste and see that the Lord is good. Blessed, Blessed is, is the man who takes refuge in him. For the Lord has chosen Zion. It he has desired it for his dwelling place. This is my resting place forever. Here, Here I will dwell, for I have desired it. I will abundantly bless her provisions. I will satisfy her poor with bread. Her priest I will clothe with salvation, and her saints will shout for joy. Glory be to the Father, and to the Son, and to the Holy Spirit, as it was in the beginning, is now, and will be forever. Amen. O taste and see that the Lord is good. Blessed is the man who takes refuge in him. Page 152, we sing the Kyrie and then the glory. In peace let us pray to the Lord forever. For the peace for our for the peace from above and for our salvation, let us pray to the Lord. For the peace of the whole world, for the well-being of the Church of God, and for the unity of all, let us pray to the Lord. Lord have mercy. For this holy house and for all who offer here their worship and praise, let us pray to the Lord. Lord have mercy. Help. Save, comfort, and defend us, gracious Lord. Amen. We sing, This is the Feast, page 155. <clears throat>
Lord be with you. Let us pray. O God, your almighty power is made known chiefly in showing mercy. Grant us the fullness of your grace that we may be called to repentance and made partakers of your heavenly treasures through your Son, Jesus Christ our Lord, who lives and reigns with you in the Holy Spirit, one God, now and forever. Amen. Please be seated. I need.